everyone and welcome to a huge haul video of scrapbooking dice, uh, card making dice, whatever you call them. Um, I have been very, very lucky to get my hands on these. It was a lady on um, eBay that actually saw them off. Um, she was telling in her auction that most of these dies are totally new in their packaging. I have just been a shopaholic and I'm like, yes, let's take advantage of the shopaholic. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, I got such a good deal on this that it's just amazing. So it's 72 dice and what I mean with 72 dice is like 72 packages of dice uh, for um, 70 pounds which I think is about $110, I'm not sure, um, but it's super, like, it's such a good deal for all of this. So I was going to show you them, and uh, remember, I have created an Instagram account, so if you're from my Instagram, you've probably already seen, um, like, when I won the auction, I put up a photo of all of the projects, so if you want to you know, see my life in the UK, uh, see scrapbooking stores here in the UK, see products I'm buying um, for like having the first view of them or um, just follow me on my Instagram account which is uh, The Miss Haven um, and I share a lot of things there um, and a selfie or two maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, I let's start then and just um, Let's start going through all these dies. So these are the Crate and Crafts. Um, I think it's dies with um, collaboration with Spellbinders. And these I know are super expensive here in Europe. I don't know how much they cost in the US, but I know they are really expensive. So I've got this really nice ornate circles. I love that. That could be so pretty for a card. I got butterflies, and then these, look at that, that's so pretty to cut out. Squares are always good, especially if you want to layer things on a card. We have the, another type of square, I love that, look at how intricate it is. Then we have a dragonfly and a corner, like a pretty corner. More circles, oh look at that. I just love these and, and how they look. So you get them in like a like a little thingy here and they're just metal dice. So yeah, and Spellbinder dice, well these are in uh, collaboration with Spellbinders but they're usually really good uh, to cut out things in and they are very expensive as well. So I was, I, I can't like buy um, since I'm a student, um, I can't really afford to buy totally new things. But this is like new anyways, yeah, this in the plastic and everything. So I was very lucky to get my hands on this. And these are squares, more squares, circles, flourishes. I love this because it could be so pretty on a card just to like layer it behind a die cut or something. And then across. So I got that and then I have some Tonic Studios um, window die and then, oh, this is falling out, uh, but this, I was so happy when I saw this because on Instagram there was a woman that was making a card with a window die and it looked so good and I was like, oh, I might like hand kind of um, hand draw it, a window and then cut it out. But now I have a die, I don't need to do that. Um, and I can try to make her card, like a copy of it. But that's so handy to get that. And then we have some um, Marion Design um, dies. We have the bird, and all new as well, never opened, crazy. And then we have some shells. We have a bird cage. This is funny actually, because this was my very first die I ever got, um, like 
several years ago. I think it was six years ago since I put up a video on YouTube and it must be like six years ago since I got this die. <laughs> Which is funny that it ended up, I ended up with it again. Um, and it's quite cute. And then we have this. We have some bolts. We have some um, flowers, I guess. And then we have some really nice, like a starfish. Uh, and then we have, this is a napkin, I think. Or not a napkin. Uh, I don't know what it's called. It doesn't have a name. Well, one of these förklädde, as we call it in Swedish. <laughs> and then this was open though, but um, it's some flower dye. And um, yeah, I wonder if... Yeah, it has both the things in it. Um, so that was the Marianne dye. And then we have... Um, I'm going to take these small dies first. So we've got like a bunch of these small dice which are um, in like plastic so they have obviously been opened um, but we have owls we have like a Christmas tree leaves these nice um, poinsettia, poinsettias um, a star well, it's a pine, poinsettia. I can't say that. Poinsettia? A poinsettia. <laughs> I know it's a flower, <laughs> but it's like a Christmas flower. And then we have a little owl. And then we have this one. A snowflake. And this says, oops. This says Merry Christmas. This is another little owl. This is a chandelier. And then a leaf. And this is like a Christmas bauble. This says jingle bells. <laughs> and this is perfect for Christmas as well. And this is like a Christmas tree. Like that says joy, Noel, faith, peace, holiday, believe in Christmas. Quite nice actually. And then another leaf. And then we come to the really fun dies because this is like the most expensive one. Obviously spellbinders. The ones that look like that and like new price here is 9.50 and I paid like um, less than a pound for this per piece um, and then this one this is open but that's fine like. and then we have this which is um, just squares and spellbinder squares are they are really good like you can just cut them out so much easier than every other die it feels like all the other dies are like oh you need to go through back and forth through your die cutting machine meant by spellbinders it's just like cuts really smooth as well and as well as sisix but sisix dies if you get the thick ones it's like they're really expensive at least here in the US uh, in the UK and um, this one is another nice lovely intricate thing we have snowflakes this is totally new never opened it's just that she put her name on the packaging that's fine <laughs> and then we have some butterflies some edgeable edgeability so i don't know like edge thingies and then some oh this is the donna salazar i've seen this like some um some uh, crafters like show this. I think this might be quite an old spellbinders uh, like die set. Um, but yeah, I think you can make really cute flowers with that. And then some more scalloped oils, um, really nice. And then a, like a big one for the grand nestabilities. These are. I'm not joking, they're probably not in Sweden if I would buy them. These are like $60 or something like that, crazy. It's it's just, <laughs> I don't understand how people actually can afford buying, like, if they buy 10 of those, like, I guess you have a really good job. <laughs> 
like in the future, like wait like a few months, and then I'm gonna go crap, scrap it crazy when I start my job, as a, uh, like as a lawyer. So <laughs> if I have time, love these twisted twine squares as well. That's really lovely. And then these like an old set. This is a shoulder bag. It's quite cute actually. You can make like a little bag like that. Totally new, never open. Here we have some Nesta Bill, like a big one, the large the Spellbinder Nesta Billities. But she said she had lost the packaging for it, so, but that's totally fine. I don't care. <laughs> and then we have this little flower set with dies. This tag from me to you. I was thinking of using this for Christmas actually as a tag um, to just cut it out on my. On my um, for my Christmas presents and I've been buying loads of Christmas presents actually <laughs> I'm going a little bit crazy this year and then we have some leaves from tattered lace they are really expensive tattered lace and then some lavish blooms aster I don't know what this is what you're supposed to make with it but yeah and then we have some bloom statements that I guess you make flowers with these then, this is really fun actually because I saw, um, I was in eBay and I saw one of these dies, like the house die being sold for like 25 quid or like 20 to 25 quid um, because I think it's an old die and I now have got through the four houses, that's so fun like, so I have this one which looks like a Victorian little house, I have this little house. Um, and this one, and then this one. <laughs> so that's really fun that I, I was looking, I was like, oh, it would be fun to like have a house. Maybe I could create a card with that. And then I got it, so fun, fun, fun. And then I got these, like just normal circles and leaves. And then I got some memory box from, oops, like that. That's really lovely, like butterflies in a heart. And then, a little flower, totally new as well, never opened. And then these are open, but they have like the metal things already and it's spellbinder. So I might, no, this is spellbinders because they have the, the bronzy kind of color for spellbinders. And then these, this must be something else. But yeah, got there, got there. And then some more and some circles so yeah that was the packaged ones and then I got some extra things which I it was more like I don't know what this is this is some little weird flower I don't know why I would use that too <clears throat> then I got this thing and I don't know what it is like it's really weird <laughs> it says lace I might need to like Google it to see what sort of thing you make. Like, I don't know what you have this for. And then I got a random spellbinder circle, which I can't find any packaging to. Um, and then I got this little set of, in like a plastic bag, which is quite nice. Really like sweet packaging. And then this is supposed to be in garland. Um, it says in the packaging and it's quite nice as well so that was like everything I bought for 70 quid which is wonderful <laughs> and really crazy um, that I was able to get my hands on this and um, yeah be sure to check out my Instagram account which is uh, the same name as my YouTube channel The Miss Haven I will link it in the description box and uh, yeah, take care. I'm going to the gym now. I'm going to work out for an hour um, because it's really nice and uh, I filmed this video now so I have that off my list of what to do today. Um, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, I talk to you later. Bye!